name, uh, was interviewing for a government position. And I got a knock on the door of my apartment by two men in suits because my friend put me down as one of his references. And then they wiped your memory and they... Yeah, they neuralized me. Right? No, I, I actually asked them if I was allowed to tell people that they talked to me. They were like, they, they were like, yeah, it's fine. You're not under like non-disclosure or anything. So it's okay. I'm not going to jail for this. Uh, funny, funny thing, too. One of the questions that they asked me about my friend was if he played War Thunder. <laughs> I, I'm com not kidding in the slightest. <laughs> they asked me if he plays the online video game War Thunder. Wow. And I think we all know why they asked <laughs> that question. <laughs> Government jobs go crazy. Well, people, <laughs> it's because people keep leaking classified documents on the War Thunder forum. Speaking of people likely to leak classified documents. Chase. Chase. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say Rob. Rob definitely is... Uh, I think he might be a classified document in and of himself. <laughs> Rob might be a whistleblower. I don't know. I'm willing, <laughs> I'm willing to go to the, the blows for that. All right. So we got oh, we got Odin and Atomic going against Mew Dace and Chase here. And already, uh, it looks like Atomic is uh, down a sock here. Yeah, Atomic got pieced up quite early. Oh! But... They're going to be able to it. fire back, you know, make, like you said, making up for it with a quick little dare at the ledge to, to secure another stock. And this is significantly less defensive than Mute and Ahoshino looked against Send and Louie Money. They're, they're being a lot more aggressive. They're taking a lot more hits. And it's it's not seeming to work out as of yet. Yeah, it's tough because obviously I feel like Rob, as you know, he's, he's a great character all around, great doubles character, but still has a lot of the same issues he has in singles that he does in teams, especially when you multiply the number of people on the screen. And then he's a big body. He's going to take a lot of damage and you're going to eat, you know, a lot of crow for it. But... At the same time, he has enough offense to make up for it in spades. So, but he's also got Steve as a teammate. Like no, no better character to manipulate the terrain defensively, as you know, Mr. <laughs> Minecraft. Literally, bro's building stuff. Bro <laughs> is building. Reminds me of back on the farm. <laughs> <laughs> we call that Farmville. <laughs> <laughs> I love my job. I'm so glad this is a side event because last time you and me commentated together, you did this during like top 16 of singles and stopped me dead multiple times. Stay in your tracks, folks. <laughs> you never know what's going to happen to you next. This is why they put us on the side events because you're darn tootin'. You're darn why. tootin'. Alrighty, so it's. Things looking up pretty even across the board here, but there we go. The red team getting the edge here in terms of the stock game. So now Mute is going to have to be a little bit on red alert here. You know, be mindful of how much damage that he's taken. Mute was was kind of serving as that stock tank throughout the games versus Send and Louie Money. So it's kind of surprising to see him, you know, being the the focus. But that's that's kind of what happens when you got a Rob and a Steve focusing on you. They're they're leaving Chase alone there because they're. I guess they've perceived him as less of a threat. They're a lot more worried about like mute plucking turnips and, and mute going to the ledge and ledge trapping. So they're they're focusing on him and making sure that he's out of the game as early as possible. All right, going for the up smash right there. So Atomic gonna have to get back to the stage and be very careful. But Odin right there in a good position at the ledge to make sure that Atomic's able to get back nicely. But now the two v one coming through here. Here we go. A great, you know, doubles to one on one. But someone's recovering. Oh Chicago's no! The two v one. My gosh. Actually, you know what? The the block came in handy for Mute Ace there because the the air dodge through the fallen anvil and then the back air. Back air probably would have killed him normally off the the side blast zone. That also not going to kill. I've I've been surprised by people living some Steve stuff in doubles, but it's I guess also a symptom of he doesn't have diamond tools until just now. So some of his stuff's a little bit weaker. It's getting real down to the ledge here for um, all teams here. One solid hit from either opponent could turn the tides in favor of the other team. You see Atomic trying to get back. There we go. Oh, wow. Sharky underneath the platform. But that was that was up airs across the board. One from the yellow team and one from the red team. It all comes together to leave us with a 1v1 between Atomic and Chase. Chase looking for this down tilt at the ledge to try and convert. And he reads a jump incorrectly. That's going to allow Atomic to get back up onto the stage and eventually find that nair. A quick little pop off. And that's game number one going to these two. Yeah, excellent stuff right there from Atomic and Chase. Again, when you're in those scramble situations, end of team situation where everybody's at high percent. And Wait, I, I know we cut away from it, but I was looking at the game screen there, and all six kills happened on Chase. <laughs> Chase went 6-0 and that game. <laughs> <laughs> Love to see it. Six for six. All right, see, just, 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 see, just kind of thinking about it, man. That, that, what a Chase is hat. angry. Yeah, he is. He's yapping. <laughs> See communication with Tina. 
two I, teammates are simply <laughs> communicating. I, the, the biggest piece of respect that I'll give to Chase is that he talks that talk no matter who he's up against. Uh, yeah. Back when I first met him and he was doing that against, you know, like normal SoCal players, I was like, okay, there's no way he does this like all the time, right? But then he's playing with friendlies with Spargo and calling him dog water too. <laughs> and so, yeah, he's, it doesn't matter who he's up against. He's just, he's always doing that. Bravo. I love, we love to see it. I, yeah. I respect committing I respect. to it because yeah. it, it would be a lot more embarrassing if he, if he backed off <laughs> against the upper <laughs> echelon. <laughs> Nonetheless, so let's see if that confidence is enough to carry them to a second game here. As we are on best of five territories, so, you know, can see the potential fourth game here uh, if Mute Ace and Chase get the dub here. And again, keeping things pretty close again. Looks like Atomic taking the bulk of the damage early, but, you know, still um, doing a good job keeping it within pole position here. Yeah, they're not letting it get too out of hand too early. It's a dangerous spot to be uh -oh. in, though, and I, I, Chase, what? Yeah, that was tough. <laughs> that was that was just oh. unfortunate. And Onan's just gonna keep it going. So many spikes all at once. I think everybody but Onan just died to a spike. Yeah, if Onan could spike himself right now, I'm sure, I'm sure uh, they I, would. You so. know, theoretically, I think it's possible, with Steve. <laughs> I think you could do it with like a block wall and a minecart, maybe. <laughs> That's the name of my country cover band. Block, the block wall, wall and a minecart. Block wall and a minecart. Yeah. It's, uh, with uh, what was that? That old cartoon? Uh, Something the Barbarian, where oh, it's like Dave the Barbarian, Dave the Barbarian <laughs> with, with only a squirrel, some duct tape, and a <laughs> megaphone. He made a megaphone. <laughs> That was one of my core memories as a child. Oh my god. Well played. Nair gonna be enough to take the kale on Alex as we've now changed costumes. Swedish Alex at that. <laughs> free healthcare Alex. Free, free healthcare. <laughs> uh, they might need it after this game. 100%, absolutely. It both looks like it's Chase trying to hold on to the stock here. Almost getting cop out enough smash, but able to stay out of it. The anvil. We'll drop on Mutates and take the KO, and Chase gonna also uh, fall victim to a KO. I felt so unfortunate in the corner there for Mutates too, because he put so much pressure on Atomic, was being real tricky with his movement around Rob's shield, and then none of it mattered because Onin just double jumped and dropped an anvil on his head. <laughs> <laughs> the old Acme school. Yeah, straight aside. from the Acme Corporation. <laughs> Warner Bros. doesn't want you to see it. Yeah. <laughs> this is what Warner Media is trying to stop from you. All right, nice catch with the back air there. And again, both there was a red team play from inside out, keeping the, the red uh, the red team separated from each other. So much damage being piled on while Onan's still tanking on this second stock. And, and it feels like, too, this is a, it, it becomes an unwinnable situation when it takes you so much just to even maybe get it down into a 1v1. And then at the end of the day, you're in a 1v1 against a very healthy Onan Steve. Yeah. Like that, that's just, it's not, not tenable. It's asking a lot right now for sure. Guess the KO there on Onan, like you mentioned, but now everybody yeah. sitting at uh, a very uh, damaged percent right now. Oh, wow. Great back air coming through from Atomic. Chase left all on his lonesome once again, and just an up smash. <laughs> Infinite oh pressure being generated between Steve and Rob in that situation. You saw Rob narrowing right past the blocks as well. So if, if if Chase landed, he gets scooped by the up smash. If he stays in the air, he gets caught by the up smash. If he tries to go over the blocks, he gets caught by Rob Nair. And it's not necessarily a good thing, but I will say that was probably his best option in the moment because Rob Nair is the only thing there that won't kill you. Yeah, no, just a, a great you know, display of pressure right there. Again, you saw how much shield damage that back air did too, my god. Yes, that's, it might not quite be checkmate because that Rob Nair wouldn't have killed, but it's, it's definitely Zugzvang at that <laughs> point. And well, I couldn't figure out how to say Zugzvang in, <laughs> in a southern accent. Uh, but for, for at my, the end of the weekend, I want to have a list of the hardest words you have to say in a well, southern it's, accent. It's probably Zugzvang. Zugzvang is going to be a hard one to beat. Uh, that, for for my, my chess playing friends out there, that one was for you. Do uh, you know what Zugzwang means? Uh, no. <laughs> so it's a it's a German word for a term in chess where you're not necessarily checkmated, but every move is a bad one. Ooh, I so, like that. Yeah, it, it basically is just like a like I'm the game isn't over yet. I'm not losing because of this move, but every single possible move will hurt me. I'm gonna hold. I'm gonna keep a hold on to that one. I tell him, yeah, my friend uh, first taught me this one. <laughs> there's, you know, there's quite a bit we can learn from, from chess terms because they got a word for everything. <laughs> I love that. 2,000 years of history in a game, it'll get like that. 
All righty, let's see if it'll be checkmate for the hey. uh, for her, uh, Chase and Mute Ace here as Odin and Atomic up two games to nil here and looking very, very solid. However, it is the yellow team off to a stronger start here to start game three. Atomic trying to chase deep into that corner against Chase, but instead he just ends up getting picked up by Mute Ace for a lot more damage. And on this Town & City game, it seems to be going a lot better for the yellow team as Chase finds that pickup with the up smash. Atomic might not be too longer for this world either if he is not careful. Those small Town & City blast zones, Palutena Bear will do it all here. There you go, good Nair off the parry there. Let's see both players just kind of engaging in their separate 1v1s, keeping everybody separate. Up to the back here, not going to be enough. But again, now it's going to be an opportunity here for a 2v1 for the Red Team. Mute is taking a, a bit of time getting back to the stage. Oh, and honestly, I, I'm thinking that that might be the, the plan for the, the yellow team in this matchup versus these two players is isolate into two separate 2v1s because while Mutace and Chase might not be able to easily take down Onan or Atomic, I think they'll have an easier time in the character matchups against Atomic and the other one just keeps Onan busy for a while until they can get to the point where they can 2v1. There you go, good pressure coming out from the red team. And again, just Mutace is trying to save Chase from further harm but getting grabbed, you know, for uh, their bravery here. Oh, that gyro is doing the work of a, of a hound and a half. <laughs> oh, no side B for you. Outside of the percent range, tried to get a little bit greedy on this town and city. There we go, just trying to stop the bleeding right now. You know, Odin definitely has to be a little bit cautious here. That stock not looking as fresh as everybody else's, so trying to get as much damage on the board to the blue team before the stock inevitably comes to an end. So the yellow team with an opportunity here to try to fight their way back into it. Not that much separating either side here. Back air from the diamond encrusted Onan might be taking Mutace out here before too much longer, but he has to disengage. He's gonna just start mining up some more resources. And that's that's a really interesting bit of decision making that I, I'm, I'm getting more insight into the more we see the Steves play in doubles is like when do they when do they go to save their teammate? When do they like try and put on the damage? When do they go to mine? Because it's very different from singles. No, for sure. There you go. Oh, just barely missing out on that forward air, but Mune still might not be too much longer for this world. That is a whole lot of kill power coming his way. And there we go, putting up the block wall there, forcing Mune to have to, you know, commit to getting around it while uh, Chase oh, is on the man. other side getting 2v1. I don't know how Mute Ace just lived that. That was a powered minecart on Town and City. I think it, it was just the right angle to send him towards the top blast zone instead of the side one. And so that's why he ended up living through it. Got more durability than a cow wearing iron uh, steel toe boots. Than a cow poke and some steel toe boots. Is that what you're trying to say? <laughs> sure. <laughs> I, I can't say I've heard that one. And a megaphone. Yes, indeed. And a megaphone. <laughs> I, I, I love when Devin just like feeds jokes into our ears because chat can't hear him and so it's just the two of us being like schizophrenic and hearing voices for a moment. I've lost my mind. Somebody's somebody's way funnier than me. It's the voices in my head. <laughs> All right, 2v1 opportunity here for the yellow team, but Mute A sitting at a very dangerous percent right now. And the, the crazy thing about Steve in this situation is that Mute Ace might not be the one to die first. He's surely more likely to uh, if you know, Chase doesn't connect with that back air off the right side. But instead, it's going to be Yellow Team putting a point on the board. Yeah, and even in the victory, you see Chase, you know, trying to... Angry. Yes. <laughs> He's never happy. <laughs> Just trying to, you know, get some... Chase some also, the, I'm, I'm looking at the, the, the game stats on the, the end screen again. Chase got every kill. Once again. Let's go, Chase. He's, he, he, you know, Mute is definitely doing a whole lot of damage. Uh, across the board, so obviously not dead weight or nothing like that, but yeah. Chase is the one who is closing all of these stocks out, and I think, you know, across the three games we've seen so far, Chase has probably taken, like, 15 out of the 18. Yeah. Games. That makes sense. What is he doing? He's, 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 he's pushing the shopping cart dance. Mutace is, Mutace is so unbothered, too. Yeah, it was probably Rob Downtilt. Uh, Devin's right, but Mute, like, I, I love Mute Ace's composure, not just in-game, but sitting next to Chase and showing no reaction to what he's doing. Chase doing a TikTok dance next to his partner. 
Uh, he, he is the right age <laughs> for, for some of that nonsense. <laughs> Go work on a farm, boy. Back in my day, we had the newspaper. We, we was up at sunrise so we could catch the newspaper. <laughs> I don't know where this is going, but I do know that Atomic's going straight into that top lasso to start off this game number four. Yeah, not if you're the red team, not exactly how you want to start. However, if you're the yellow team, you love to see it. You know, definitely want to make a statement early here. And now that you're playing with the advantage, makes it set of the uh, GMs to respond, and that back air is going to be a, a, a sweet forward or spike. Could be a good way to respond. Oh, but Mute Ace going to take a whole lot of damage, but less than usually expected when a Steve hits a diamond up tilt at low percent. So, you know, going to be thanking his lucky stars that Chase got him out of there before anything went too poorly for him. And now it's really Onan who's struggling a lot to, to maintain any semblance of control. Every time he starts to get his feet underneath him, starts to mine, starts to set up those walls, Chase and Mute are right on top of him again. There you go. A 2v1 opportunity here for the yellow team, but Atomic able to weave his way out of it. Again, just trying to find the oh. opening here. The back air will connect, so that will take Odin's first stock here. Oh, but Odin's going to be able to fire right back onto Chase. Chase went a little bit too deep for that edge guard, trying to, trying to catch Atomic, but Rob has plenty of fuel. He's going to be able to hang out out there forever, and so just gave Odin time to walk up to that ledge and get ready for a down smash. All right, some craziness happening on either side of the wall here. Yeah, oh, that's wow. Gonna be, yeah, that's going to be KO on Atomics and a red team. And you know what? I think, once again, I don't think Butte is scouting a kill. <laughs> I think these <laughs> have all been taken by Chase. Yeah, Palatine is definitely the star player right now. Definitely feeding the, the offense to your LeBron James. <laughs> I'm honestly kind of surprised, too, that when they come up against uh, a Steve Robb duo, I was wondering if Chase was going to bring out the Aegis. Uh, just because of how favorable that matchup is into, into Rob and how good the, the big sword does in doubles. But sticking with the Palutena, and you know, as they're starting to make this reverse 3-0, doing very well with it. Currently got a very slight lead thanks to that early stock lost by Atomic, and we'll see if Yellow Team can bring us to a game five. Yeah, it's looking very likely right now. The Yellow Team looking very dominant right now. However, both these stocks, you know, near the danger zone, so... All it takes is just one solid hit from either member of the red team, and they're finding themselves back in the lead. Onan also making sure he's always fresh with the diamond tools, recrafting it up, despite the fact that he's pushing towards kill percent uh. on this stock. And that might prove to be a mistake, because he just wasted a diamond, and now he's going to be stuck with stone tools for a while. Well, it might not matter too much if you're just jumping into <laughs> smash attacks. All right, last stock scenario for everybody. The blue red team trying to push their ticket in the winner's finals, but Atomic sitting at the very dangerous percent of 110 right now against two characters that have proven to be able to KO Rob very, very easily. Atomic definitely uh, going to be the, the fail point in this chain. He's going to be the one who breaks first here more likely than not, but Onan starting to crack as well. They're both in pretty heavy danger, and Mutace and, and Ihoshino are sitting pretty at the moment. Gets the grab. Oh, that's that's not right, Chase. He was setting you up for an up air there, and you just dash tech your friend. Ooh, supposed to play almost connecting there too. The wall saving. Uh, Waiting for the oh. Right there. Whoa. He was trying to pummel him until the wall broke, and the the wall still kept him alive, but not for very much longer. Going high with that teleport, and now it's just a matter of time. Oh, the, the stitch face coming through from downtown. <laughs> he, did the, he did the down tilt again. He did the down tilt again. Or he's just doing a dance. It's no, one of the other. like this. It's both. <laughs> it's the down tilt dance. <laughs> Rob is from the 80s. He might have some music video of his where he does a dance too. So, Advertising in that era was something else. <laughs> uh, I remember being shown on YouTube when I was, I think, in like middle school or something. That commercial for the Virtual Boy, <laughs> where the guy turns into like goop yeah. or something. <laughs> so, why don't we have commercials like this anymore on TV? You know what my commercials are missing? Goop. Goop. We need more of that. Because I think I think it was the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game. Was oh the, yeah. The like the what the the thing that they were advertising on the Virtual Boy. I was born in the wrong generation. <laughs> You and me both, brother. <laughs> I, I needed to be around for the virtual boy. That's it. All right, guys. Game five scenario coming up here. Winner this was on a winner's finals. 
with the date against Chag and Svargo or Mars and Light. So yeah, so uh, up up next after this game five, we're gonna have the other winter semis like Cooper was talking about, which that's also going to be a very exciting set, but we still got one more game of this action to get through before we can get there, and it's been a good start from the yellow team once again. We got the yellow team looks like they've really cleaned up their act a bit. It looks like they're just doing a better job generating, you know, targeting that offense early on Rob and, um, you know, making sure that they're able to get their 2v1s on Owen and uh, whatever they have opportunities to. As the kids would say, they have locked in. Back but air. yeah, the back air walking in that back air, <laughs> and that was also dangerous too. Chase was seconds away from getting his shield broken if that setup had worked uh, to the the specs that he wanted it to. That could have been a very dangerous. Who plat getting trying to fight on the platform? That's always very very dangerous, especially in a team's environment. You risk getting uh, you know grabbed or, or, or back thrown there in that scenario. So. You know, one thing that I'm thinking about now, I don't think Atomic's been getting too much off of his gyro. I feel like every time he shoots it out, control is immediately taken away from him. It's either just left spanning somewhere in center stage where nobody else is, or one of the one of the members of Yellow Team just grabs it and uses it like their own. Yeah, and I think that's a huge aspect of playing against uh, against Rob. You know, do you feel comfortable using the gyro? And I mean, Mute specifically, so many <laughs> sets against Anathema, uses the turn up on his own too, so already has the item combos unlocked. It's, it's just a very, very dangerous spot to be in. Ooh. Despite that, though, it is the red team with the advantage here. So. And a pretty big one at that, too. Yeah, Mutate's already down to his last stock here. This could be very, this this could be, uh, you know, brutal Uppy? for the red team. Oh, I was I was seeing if Mute was fishing for that high peach parasol to try and get a, a kill off the top, but didn't go for it, didn't opt for it. That's okay. Gotta I'm be, only a little bit disappointed. <laughs> gotta go for it. You should have gone for it. it I mean, you're sick. you're down by as many stocks as you are. You might as well start throwing some Hail Marys. Yeah. All right. So just trying to fight their way back into it here. Dang. Oh, that was your teammate, man. That's tough stuff. <laughs> Every time. I feel like it shield poked him, too, is the worst part. Like, his, his Atomic did everything right. He shielded it, knew the hit was coming, and still died. That's what Steve does. All right, just like that, we're even stockwise here. Chase obviously hurting a little wow. bit. Wow. Whoa. Held him in place with the spinny arms, and then in comes the, the horseman of death, <laughs> Steve with a diamond. Definitely, one, definitely uh, one of the scariest. Which horseman do you think that is? Is that war or is that death? <sighs> I think it's war. It's probably war. Probably I, I, war. Definitely not famine or pestilence, so. <laughs> It's Mr. Ed. That's the horse. <laughs> oh my Chat God. will never know what we're laughing about. We can't tell him. <laughs> we'll tell you when you're older. All right. Still holding on to this last stock for dear life here. Oh, and Peach is going to All right. that KO. It is now a 2v1 for the red team here. I wouldn't say it's likely, but I wouldn't say it's undoable. Chase has an opportunity here, especially with Atomic playing inside the blast zone for some reason. Leaving him all alone is lonesome to fight his teammate. But even then, Onan's got a fresh stock behind this one. Even if Chase can bring this to a 1v1, a fresh Steve stock versus an already at kill percent Palutena. We'll see how it goes, but my, it's I just don't know. It's, it's super tough to tell right now. I just don't know. This is so dangerous for... For both Atomic, especially uh, if Odin's going to take uh -oh. down his teammate before Chase gets the chance to. Now it's, it's all on Chase. He can do this right now. It's Chase right at the ledge. Oh, oh, no. Chase was going full superhero mode on that platform out there. Trying to take this uh, game uh, his damn self. And Odin really thanking his lucky stars that he was able to get back to stage there because he didn't have a jump. He, oh, the only resource oh. was Mike Cart and Chase continuously oh. pushing him out. Gets the shield out in time, but oh. then just lands right in front of the crafting table. And Onan, an F smash comes through and saves their winner side life. But man, you believe for a moment because I did too. You start to feel the, the, the rubber band AI start to kick back in a little bit. A lot of <laughs> opportunities there for Chase and a lot of, you know, instances there where Onan was this ready is, to fill. This is where Onan gives Chase a helping hand too, right? Like Chase lands on his shield and Atomic's <laughs> like, because that, that's the logical thing that you want to do there where a Palutena lands on you, uh, you want to get out of there. You yeah. want to jump, you want to reposition yourself. 
But no. Yeah. <laughs> also, yeah, he was. <laughs> Bro was chilling. Dancing a merry jig beneath that platform. And watch this here, Chase. You know, making the 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 hasty decision of a quick attempt to get out of dodge, tries to teleport, even though I think he could have safely stayed on that platform because Onan had already pretty much disengaged it. Yeah. But doesn't work out. Sometimes you make a wrong decision and also great awareness from Onan uh, to, to position himself underneath in one of the few places that Chase could have landed off that teleport. Huh? So that's going to be go. them moving to winner's finals. Solid fist bumps all across the board as well. Bravo. Bravo, everybody. Sometimes they're quite bad. Yes. And literally, this is, this is your warning now, folks. You're going to play on screen this weekend. And Practice. You have a, and you have a bad, if you have a bad fist bump, Devin's going to see it. And, and he will replay it. it. Yeah. It'll go. <laughs> People even. will laugh, including me. It happens to the best of us. Like, make, listen, you already, listen, we already strike stages. We already do this. We already do that. Why not just agree, hey, do you want a fist bump or a shake after this? I, you know what? That that is incredibly cringe, <laughs> but <laughs> it might save some people if you you sit down at the start of the set and you're like, hey, when we finish this set, <laughs> you want a fist bump or a handshake?